Hey guys, welcome again to Higan Iruthil. So we're gonna be talking about more on <coughs> formations. What are the types of formations that you're gonna need or gonna be preparing for? So let's go to our roster. So again, as my previous video that I mentioned in terms of fast progression, you will be needing at least eight to start in the first two, uh, two weeks of play. Oh, two, 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 two to three weeks of play. So, more or less, with that eight, you will have enough to create uh, for the five types of teams that I'm going to be explaining. So, this is my team. Look at it. Uh, look at them for now. So, I'm going to be using Iluya, Arman, Fen, uh, Roko, Kloar, Ume, Screamer, and Euphoria. So, we're going to be proceeding to... Uh, an adventure here, but I'm not gonna be playing an adventure. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, designing some teams for you, so that you'll have an idea on how to position them, how you're gonna be using them. Um, there will be five types of teams that we're gonna be talking about. Um, starting from your most aggressive in offense, going down to you more, you more, you're more most for the formidable on defense. Okay, so let's uh, go to formation. Let's uh, clear the board here. Okay, the first formation that um, I think is very useful is going to be. It's going. I'm gonna be talking about from aggressive to your super defensive. So your aggressive offense is going to have three dps and one buffer okay so your dps could be from your range to your melee so let's say for example you have i'm gonna be using uh this is a ranger so one dps uh this is an assassin and i'm gonna add one more so this is your third DPS. You can actually, these are your DPSs here, focusing on one. So you have your front lines here. Your your hop line is basically your first front line, and you have your uh, buffer. So your buffer, um, like screamer, adds to energy. So that is actually your first type of team. So three DPS, one buffer. The second one. Um, oh, sorry. Before I, before I forget, your aggressive offenses are most likely ideal for time trial stages, especially in farming for credit. That's usually a time trial. So what you need to do is deal the biggest damage uh, in a X amount of time. That's it. For you to proceed to the next stage, you have to basically um, deal the exact damage or exceed the exact the damage the, the damage dealt to the existing boss to move to the next stage. So, this is good for time trial stages or for farming credit. So, clearing it, your second um, team would be your offensive team, which is more or less your basic team. This will be comprised of your defender then again you have one dps and you have to have another dps and one healer debuffer or buffer okay so for offensive team this is usually your base team this is the team that you're going to be you know uh your core team the team that you're most probably going to be using most of the time unless you are shifting to, to a more specialized team. So you have your uh, defender or defense. Then you have your two DPSs here. DPS again can be melee or range depending on what um, a style would you prefer. And one healer here at the back, debuffer or buffer. Okay, so your base team. Next or your third is going to be your siege team okay why do you need a siege team your siege team is actually there because there are some stages that let's put isa here 
there are some stages that um, there is a big elemental, you know, disadvantage on your end. So for you to expose only one, one character to that elemental disadvantage is actually going to be beneficial. So um, this is going to be your uh, basically um, this is your your siege team. Sometimes you would want to swap out one of your DPS for a healer for a siege team so that your your um, defense your defender can survive. But if he can survive, um, all of the enemies here um, making your defender as a target then you can go with another DPS to deal more damage. So that is basically it, your siege team. If you have an elemental disadvantage and if you don't have other, you know, other characters to put and your, again, my example is if you're facing off uh, an element which is uh, dealing more damage to your uh, characters because for example your enemy is water and most of your you know your characters are fire then definitely you have to have somebody to put in front that is either a neutral element or again a better element than what you are facing preferably one of your defenders so that the rest can deal damage again um siege is is actually um made for the purpose of you lacking the right element for that stage okay so this is your siege team next your fourth is going to be your balance team your balance team is uh okay so your balance team you have one defender uh, one dps you have one defender then you almost have two healers here but one is a debuffer slash healer so this is going to be your balance team this is more or less not not excelling in defense not excelling on offense but more or less this will get the job done as well <coughs> And the last team that uh, we're going to be talking about, let's clear this one, is your super defensive team in which you will need two defenders, one healer, and one DPS, preferably a ranged DPS. Uh, I just need one defender. I don't have any defender anymore. So I'll put... Uh, Euphoria here. So assuming that Euphoria is a defender. So two defenders, one DPS and one healer. So a very, very defensive team. Especially if you don't, you know, if you don't really have a big advantage and you just want to wear them down little by little, then you go with your super defensive team. Okay. Anyway, um, for those of you who are going to be referencing this, I'm going to put, uh, uh, what do you call this? I'm going to be putting all those teams in the description of this video so that you may have a quick reference. Again, there are more or less five teams that I used. So aggressive offense, offensive, siege team, balanced, and super defensive team. So again, these teams uh, may be used differently depending on situations and depending on the stages that you encounter. Aggressive offense is usually used for time trials. Siege team is usually used if there's an enemy elemental advantage and the rest is usually what it is. So your offensive team is usually your base team. Okay, guys, so that is it. Those are your five team compositions and um, 
at least you are guided at this time, this early in launch. Um, been playing this game for CBT1 and CBT2. And hopefully I shared with you important knowledge on team comp, team design, and more or less on how to clear some of the stages. So thank you guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.